lot of people ask me what to do if you clip your dog's nail too short and you cut the quick. Hopefully it's never happened to you, but if it has, you know that when you clip the quick, it's actually a nerve ending and it bleeds a lot. It's just a tiny little nick, but it bleeds a lot. So it makes a lot of people really nervous. It can be scary. Um, the first thing that you want to do, and I advise this every time you cut your dog's nails, obviously you don't want to clip the quick, but if you do, you want to be prepared for it. So have some supplies with you just in case every time you clip your dog's nails, no matter how experienced you are. All right, so let's say I'm cutting Sadie's nails and I accidentally cut one too short. The first thing you're gonna wanna have is some clean paper towels or a clean washcloth. And you're just gonna hold pressure on the nail um, for a few minutes, I would say two to three minutes. Hopefully your dog will lay there. Um, you shouldn't press so hard that it's painful for them. So uh, just sit there, apply the pressure, maybe um, you know try and pet your dog, calm them down, and hold the clean towel on there for two to three minutes. Then you're going to take, if you have styptic powder or a styptic pen, styptic powder is something that you can buy at any pet store, uh, grooming supply store, a lot of big box stores carry it now, and it's um, it helps the blood clot after you've clipped the nail. So you can certainly buy that, but if you need a, an, a remedy, a homemade remedy, something that you have on hand, I use cornstarch. Cornstarch is really great. You can use baking soda or flour as well. Cornstarch seems to stick to the nail the best, and I think it helps to clot the blood the fastest out of those three home remedies. No, we're not eating the cornstarch. Um, so what you're gonna do is just take a pinch of cornstarch, and you're just gonna put it on the end of the nail, um, and it will stick because of the blood, it's wet. So it's gonna stick to that um, end of the nail, and you're just gonna try to sit here, keep your dog as quiet as you can for about 20 to 30 minutes. I know that sounds like a long time, but um, if you think about it, you know, when your dog stands up, he puts all his weight, all the pressure goes to his paws, and that's gonna increase the blood flow. So you wanna keep him down and quiet for 20 to 30 minutes, give that paw some time to uh, clot and heal up before you let him just get up and start walking around on it, because the faster he walks around on it, the more chance you have, or the better chance you have of it uh, bleeding again. This is a really quick at-home remedy. It's kind of like the DIY of what to do if you clip the nail too short. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video, bye.